everyone! My name is Ariel Luna or you may also call me Jaslyn and I'm a variety streamer on Twitch. So if you might have noticed, I actually upgraded my webcam on stream from a Razer Tio to a Sony ZV-1. So I got a few questions on what uh, camera I'm using. So it's actually a Sony ZV-1. And uh, I just thought that I want to do a comparison between the both. I know it's not a very apple to apple comparison given that one is a 180 webcam and one is like a $800 camera. But there are still uh, good points to note <laughs> between the two. And so I thought that I could actually make a video for this. And I also want to say that uh, I'm not actually a professional when it comes to gadgets and IT and I don't know all these AV stuff. But I just wanted to share what I know as a casual streamer and my thoughts about it. So right now I'm gonna uh, set up both the Razer Kio and the Sony ZV-1 which I'm actually filming on onto my monitor screen and we'll actually see the difference. So let's go! Hi, it's me again. So right now, I have the Razer Kio actually sitting on top of my monitor screen. I'm going to do a comparison between uh, the Razer Kio and the Sony ZV-1 while the room is bright. So right now, I have all the lights in my room switched on and I'll do a comparison later when the room is dark. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about this Razer Kio because it's my first webcam and I actually took quite a bit of time to research like uh, whether should I be getting the Razer Kio or the Logitech C922 because there wasn't really much of a price difference Razer Kio is 179 on Razer's website and the Logitech is 159 just a $20 difference so uh, after watching a lot of reviews what I liked more was that the Razer Kio uh, the skin tone tends to look uh, warmer on the Razer Kio and the color grading is nicer basically and I like how it, for addition $20 difference, there is this ring light on the Razer Kio. Okay, I'm going to show you right now. The ring light is off. And this is when it's switched on at its uh, lowest brightness setting. I'm going to check it out. Okay, this is how I'll look with the maximum, uh, with the brightest setting that I can go on the Razer Kio. Uh, it's a little bit sharp on the eyes, okay. Because I prefer it off. Uh, I thought that I would actually have more use for the ring light. But ever since getting it right, I haven't used the ring light at all for my streams. <laughs> okay, so uh, basically this is it. And uh, I'm going to switch over to Sony. So hi, what can you tell? Okay, I think a very obvious difference you can tell on the Sony ZV-1 versus the Razer is the color gradient. Um, it's a little bit darker here. It's brighter on the Razer Q. I'm under the same light settings and um, yeah, you can actually tell that my purple wall is more purple. <laughs> Goodness, what am I saying? So the story about the Sony uh, ZV-1 is that I actually bought it as a camera for vlogging use. So one day it just struck me that, hey, how about I just try it as a webcam? So I plug and play. It wasn't as simple as a plug and use because I realized that I actually have to download the Sony Edge Imaging software before I can use it as a webcam. And subsequently, uh, I think just a few months ago, there was an update. I have to update the firmware inside my Sony ZV-1 before I can use it like a direct plug and play um, for webcam. So it's a little bit difficult to sell out at first, but I really like how how things seem to be much clearer and sharper in the Sony ZV-1 and uh, I'm gonna put both the cameras side by side let me show you I have the Sony ZV-1 here and this is my Razer Kio side by side comparison you can see I have the Razer Kio on your left and the Sony ZV-1 on your right and take a moment to digest <laughs> okay um, First thing uh, you can tell, skin tone, like, like in the color gradient that I mentioned. And while I'm streaming right now in a bright room, I have a light on top of my head which is actually adjustable. So I'm going to tune down. So if I were to tune it darker, you, could, you would realize that actually my face, the color gradient looks nicer on the Razer Q, which actually lead me to think that, okay, a dark screen, is better on the Razer Q, but let's say if I'm streaming in 
while it's darker, it's not completely dark yet. While it's darker, and I'm looking at a bright screen. Okay, there isn't too much of a difference. And basically, uh, I think the differences is not a lot when, when the room is bright. And we are talking about the zoom, about the zoom. Okay. Okay. Right now the lighting is set. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about. I was talking about the autofocus. Of course, there is a very vast difference in autofocus. So let's say if I were to hold out a battery to this Razer Q, it takes a really long time for the autofocus. Okay. Let's try again. Eh? Okay, so it's, it's, it takes a little bit of time to get focus and uh, yeah, I think I can't put too close as compared to the Sony Z1. Can you tell the speed difference? It's so like fast. So uh, yeah, I'm going to test this while the room is dark and I'm going to jump back to the scene of the full razor cam. Be right back guys. Okay, let me go and switch off the uh, lights and <laughs> I am back with the lights in my room switched off. All other lightings are the same except that I have actually changed my light bulb to a uh, darker purple because this is how I usually stream in the dark. I know it looks very terrible on the razor queue, which brings my point later, but uh <laughs> but when I didn't have that Sony ZV1 what I do is that uh, while I'm streaming my games, I will actually tune down my lightings at my desk, in front of my desk, to the lower settings. So, um, <laughs> you can tell it's very pixelated, you can like, like, like little grains of sand everywhere. And I have a white color screen on my secondary monitor. So, usually, I have to ensure that the screens I'm looking at is in dark mode. Uh, that way my face wouldn't be exposed. So let's do bright screen, dark screen. So this is just a secondary monitor. Let's do it on the main monitor. So let's say if I'm looking at the game and it suddenly changed into a afternoon scene or, or when the scene is bright. So this is how overexposed my face would look like on the razor, which is why I don't even use the ring light feature at all. So um, for, for a good while, for a good while, I had to stream with my lights off. That way, if I'm looking at the bright screen, it's not as bad. So <laughs> this is completely off. It's just the two RGB lights because I want to do this test in the dark because that's how I prefer to stream. Uh, because you can't actually tell the RGB colors in, in a bright room. So uh, it went on for a few while. Uh, like, it went on for a few for a few months, and I realized that my eyesight was actually getting worse because I'm just I'm just playing video games in the dark, and my eyesight got a little bit worse until that's when I actually plug in the Sony ZV1, and I'm gonna show you the difference right now. I really like how how clear and how I don't know the colors look very well balanced. My face is not overexposed. Uh, I I'll leave this lamp uh, switched off. So this is my face looking at both dark screens, bright screen in front of me. Sorry, let me look at myself in my secondary. Color. I think my skin still looks okay. Okay, and bright screen on secondary monitor. No overexposure. And uh, let me test this while I switch on my lights. This is when I have my light set at its brightest and I'm going to do it at the lowest brightness. So you can actually tell no matter what settings I have on my, on my desk lamp, my face is actually very, it's not overexposed. So I'm going to put this side by side so you guys can actually do a comparison. So this is where you can see the big difference. There isn't too much of a difference when the room is bright. But there is a huge difference when the room is dark. 
So, uh, lights on, lights off with a okay. I'm just doing like, like a dark screen on my secondary monitor. Dark screens or lights off, it looks fairly okay on the Razer Q. But if I were to switch on the lights again, at this lower setting to make sure the queue is not too overexposed. This is how I look. So, which is why I <laughs> I never look back ever since I went on to read the Sony ZV-1. And in comparison, um, the autofocus doesn't differ a lot in the dark. It's still the same, equally slow. Oh my god, I can't even get you focus. Come on. Come on. Okay. And Sony ZV-1. So, this is I realized this when because I have a pet hamster that okay, I'll occasionally bring out okay this is my let's say this is my pet hamster so I'll occasionally bring it up to stream hey Cotton says hi so the Razer Kyo can never focus on my hamster so <laughs> so uh, I just thought that uh, I just wanted to make this video so you guys can actually compare the difference and see the difference I know it's a little bit unfair to compare uh, a hundred and eighty dollars webcam versus a eight hundred dollar uh, video cam, um, but if if you happen to have both of them at home, why not try it? <laughs> then, yeah, I just wanted to say and share my uh, point of view and my thoughts because while the razor is good, I don't deny that uh, it's, it's, it's I don't say that it's too bad. I say it's good but it's better when you are streaming in a bright room. When it's dark, the issues of being having an overexposed face is is so much for me to handle and which is why I I decided to just use the Sony ZV1. So I hope that you will actually enjoy my little review. Uh, I have to say again. I'm not a professional streamer. I'm not a professional uh, person when it comes to this kind of uh, electronic gadgets, the settings. I know, I know there are settings that you can add filters to uh, your razor to make it look good. But I'm just going to do it like a like any other. Most people would would just be to plug and play, and this is the difference that I see. And I just wanted to share some of my thoughts. And I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys next time on my other videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.